Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the observations and uh, look of the latest build of Windows 10. This is the build that was released yesterday, Friday to March the 4th. And we see that this is Windows 10 Insider Preview and the build is 14279 RS14 Redstone 1. And uh, this is... Uh, another build in a little more than a week about a week and a half since the last build so it's nice to see that they're really um, you know pushing the builds at a much faster pace it's pretty cool to see that now this build I had uh, to try three times before it installed I had a crash with the graphics adapter driver so it gave me a blue screen the first time it tried to recover, then finally said, okay, I'm going back to the previous build. Try the second time, same crash, blue screen, graphics adapter again. So what I did is I went to the device manager, I uninstalled the graphics adapter, and then I clicked, okay, install the build. So it didn't have any drivers to push from the previous build to the new build. So it didn't crash this time and it installed correctly. And once it was over, well, it had installed a brand new um, graphics adapter driver. So that's how I was able to continue uh, because I was really unable to install it. Uh, after second, two tries, it was like, okay, got a problem here. So what's new in this build? There are a few little things that have been added here in this new build. And uh, so this is you know starting i think the, the builds that are coming now are going to be builds that do have a lot of uh the new stuff that's available uh or it will be available in june uh, as we're you know slowly getting there already in month of march so june isn't that far away basically so basically uh this is a fast ring build so you have to be in the fast ring you have to go into your windows update make sure you're the fast ring if you want it to work but uh, there's a few things that have been added uh, in this build. So um, basically what you've got in this build that is new. Uh, Cortana can now uh, remind you of stuff without having, because you know before you had to ask Cortana, can you remind me of something? But it's, it, it would always ask you, oh, uh, what time, what date? And so it was kind of, well, I don't necessarily want a date. I just want you to, or a time, I just want you to remind me about something. And now it does work. So now when you use Cortana, you can actually say things like, remind me to buy bread. Got it. And what it's going to do is that from time to time, it's going to pop up, hey, you need to buy bread, don't forget. And um, if you shut down your computer, it also can remind you of, of, you know, buying bread, for example, or milk or whatever. And what's nice is this is the first version of Cortana that integrates that in the sync of all Cortana devices. So this version now will have Cortana remind you on every device that you have Cortana, buy bread or any other details that you actually send to it. Uh, another new thing about Cortana is that if you are waiting for Cortana to be available where you are, well, this build brings Cortana to new countries. So Cortana is now available in Spanish for Mexico, Portuguese for Brazil, French Canada. So my French Canadian friends can now use Cortana in French on this build. And of course, I will try it, by the way, because I want to, I'm curious to see how it, well, it works in French Canada, French Canada, 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 um, and um, so you'll be able to uh, use all of these things, um, you know, together and talk to Cortana in new countries. The, you know, as time goes by, new countries are coming with Cortana. It's just a little longer than previously thought. Uh, for example, French Canada was supposed to be available before the end of the year last year and you know what it's available now in a built and we're in March so I think things are really moving slower than they really thought another interesting thing and I find it really cute is that the lock screen 
and a login screen are kind of merged together. So instead of having a log screen that you know moves out of the way to give you the login screen, you now have kind of a merge of a log screen and a login screen together. And what's nice, if you look at the new features, and that was a question that a lot of people ask, is there a possibility to change these pictures, the log screen picture and the sign-in screen picture? Well, now when you look at the lock screen information, you now have the possibility to show lock screen background picture on the sign-in screen. And it's really cool because it really kind of merges. So when you click, it kind of just appears the sign in the logon screen uh, and you just have to enter the password and I think that's nice and it's better than um, you know we had in uh, Windows 10 why well, have two screens when you can do it in the same one and this is pretty much what it's doing here uh, minor tweaks of once again some of the feel and look of different folders and files and the file explorer um, not a lot but you know they're they're playing a little bit with that uh, for sure so uh, that's another thing that we're having here uh, so not lots of little improvements here and there um, updates of course on uh, different parts like the Windows Store has a little bit of uh, been tweaked a little bit uh, also the different um, universal apps like news, uh, weather, and all of that have been uh, tweaked a little bit. You know, these are minor little things, but they uh, had to what it's uh, supposed to be, and uh, it adds to the the uh, usability, basically, of uh, what Windows 10 is about. So uh, this is really nice to see that they're you know upgrading all of that. Apart from that, no crashes, no blue screen once installed. I did have some stuff, of course, uh, happening um, to the install itself. But um, you know what? It's uh, pretty, pretty cool to uh, see this uh, new build, of course, on uh, having you know the first new real features that we have added and the real new thing. What's fixed? Uh, there were issues where Microsoft Edge and Cortana were crashing for users with roaming profiles. Uh, they fixed issues where Cortana could continue to show reminders that have been completed. They fixed issues where copy move to the desktop would not display until the desktop is manually refreshed. And by the way, that's something that happens even in a regular build. I do have sometimes uh, you know shortcuts that I put on the desktop and if I don't refresh they don't pop up so these are fixed uh, also fix an issue where downloading certain drivers from Windows Update was causing some PCs to blue screen so I don't know maybe that's what happened before uh, with the other build to this build so that's maybe why uh, it got fixed because I removed the driver um, there's are of course as usual some issues if you have a Surface Pro 3 Pro 4 or Surface Book, don't install this build. It has freezes and hangs. Uh, keyboard, trackpad might not work. So uh, there are little things that like that. Um, several issues reported by insiders uh, will freeze or blue screen when resuming from hibernation. So disabling hibernation is a workaround in some cases. Uh, Kaspersky antivirus still not working in this build. It was, uh, it was not working in the last build, 14.271. Still doesn't work here because of driver issues, so be warned, use Windows Defender for now, and as you'll go uh, with time, we'll eventually have a, uh, of course, they'll eventually have Kaspersky working again for sure. Uh, turning on the always show all icons and notifications area, setting disrupts the layout of the notification area. Your notification area will look out of alignment, so uh, not that that's pretty minor. Seeing reports of crashes with apps such as QQ crashing due to uh, OS reliability issue uh, investigating right now. Uh, bug can also impact other apps like Windows Live Mail and Expression Encoder 4. So uh, that's pretty much what uh, you know. I have to say for now. Uh, fresh new experience, a few little details, a few new stuff. So that's really nice to see. And uh, it's nice to see that they're adding stuff all the time, working with this uh, 
Insider Preview. So if you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And uh, if you're an insider, of course, get your new build right now. And if you're not an insider and wondering, should I be an insider? Don't forget that if you don't have any machines other than your main computer to, be, to install insider previews, do not become an insider. Insider previews are for tech enthusiasts that have a dedicated machine for it and that can, um, of course, break your computer if you uh, try it. And if you don't want to reinstall Windows all the time, insider previews are probably not for you. Hope you enjoyed the videos.